Let's look at the details of the stateless address auto configuration feature flag of IPv6. It can be used for the automatic configuration of hosts, which you had to use DHCP with IPv4 before. You don't have to do that. It is completely reliant on the ICMPv6 neighbor discovery protocol, NDP. How do you generate your own IP address if you don't have DHCP? Well, first you generate the link local address. You know how that works. You can use EUI64 or you can use privacy extensions, but it always starts with the FE80 and it's in the scope of slash 64. If you have your link local address, you can send a router solicitation to the all routers multicast group. So you tell the routers, hello, I have a link local address. I just joined your network. Please tell me who the router is and tell me what global address is on this link. Every router on this link will reply with a router advertisement and it will announce the prefixes that are used on this link. In IPv6, you can have more prefixes than in IPv4. In IPv4, it was common to have one network per network. In IPv6, it is common that you can have more. Most people don't do that, but you can. You can have different scopes of addresses on the same link, which is link local and also global. You know that already. But you can also have different types of global addresses, but that's more complicated. Once you have received the router advertisement with the prefixes, you can generate a global IPv6 address from this prefix. So the start of the address is not FE80 anymore, but it is the network prefix that was announced. And the rest is also configurable by EUI64, like with link local, or you can use random numbers with privacy extensions. So the way the address is generated is just the same, just that FE80 is replaced by your real public network that is announced by the router. Once you have generated your address, you have to use duplicate address detection to make sure your new address is unique. If it is not unique, it is marked as tentative and it is not used yet. So all communication is reliant on this link local address. If you get no neighbor advertisement back to your DAD message, then you know, okay, I have an address from the prefix that this router announced. I also know my router's address. Nobody is using my own address yet, so I will use it. And the address becomes active. 